Cabbage aphids are a common pest in canola in spring, but they're not a pest in every crop in every year. So it's important to get out and have a look. So let's have a look. So there are three species of aphids that we have to worry about in canola in Australia. The cabbage aphid, the turnip aphid, they generally tend to cluster on the racemes. But we also have the green peach aphid. It's more of a pest early in the season and more renowned for vectoring viruses. But when crops are stressed, they can certainly affect advanced crops. So where do we look to find cabbage aphids? Well, firstly, they like to be on the branches um, and you can see how they cluster and cause flower abortion, reduce seed set, and that's generally how we get a yield loss. It's a good idea to start on the edges first and work your way in to see if there are strong edge effects in their distribution. How cabbage aphids distribute themselves in the field is very important when consider how to monitor for them. And we found that cabbage aphids are very easily over or underestimated because they're quite aggregated. So what we did as part of a GRDC project is look at how we can improve the accuracy. And in doing so, we produced an app called Crop Scout, which is part of the My Pest Guide suite of apps. So what I'm doing with the Crop Scout app is every five paces I'm inspecting a plant and if it's infested I click yes and if it's not I press no and the algorithms are running in the background for me and it will actually stop when it knows I'm above or below a threshold for this particular path. So where we want to go to in the future is really uh, improved monitoring to uh, increase accuracy of sampling and monitoring um, and decrease unnecessary sprays. So we encourage you to get out and have a look at your crops, what's going on in there. Often it's more than one pest um, and it's really important to get an idea of what's going on in there and the populations of pests and beneficials that you have in your crop. <music>